okay. It says I'm live. I see my face again. It's not black. Uh, I'm still moving, so that's good. So hope I am so sorry, you guys. I don't know what it was. I think it was a connection problem. Um, so anyway, hopefully you guys will catch up with me, and um, we can talk. Please um, say hi or something so that I know that you're here. Um, uh, I'm going to start out with just, um, you know, an overview of what I think I want to accomplish in this live stream. So, I really wanted to create a space where um, small YouTubers, although large YouTubers are welcome, if you'd like to come in, we would love your help and your advice, but basically a place where we can share with each other um, things that we've learned, things that work for us. Um, things we've learned don't work, you know, because sometimes you can learn from mistakes too. But um, a place to share these things and help each other grow in our YouTube. Um, uh, you know, I think it was yesterday they made the announcement that you have to have 4,000 hours and 1,000 subscribers. And um, just to recap the math, if you haven't done that yet, um, 4,000 hours comes out to about somewhere between 10 and 11 hours a day and that equals about 666 minutes a day okay um, I'm seeing a lot of places on Twitter and on Facebook and even on um, on YouTube now where they're doing sub for subs again and in the past you know, as I'm watching some of the other videos, um, that, you know, the experts, I'm going to call them the experts, um, have been saying that it's not good to just sub for sub just to get subscribers. And I'm still inclined to believe that as truth. Um, and I'll tell you why. Uh, I think it's better to have subscribers who have like interests. Okay, or at least to start that way. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, and the reason why I say that, like for instance, um, it wouldn't be fair for me to subscribe to somebody who talks about cars all the time. It's, I'm not really interested in it. Um, you know, other than maybe some information that I might need on occasion for you know something in my personal life, but I'm not a gearhead. So for me to subscribe to a channel that's all about Mopar or GM or, you know, these kind of things, I would be cluttering up their subscriber list unnecessarily. They're going to be sending me notifications that's going to cl clutter up my list of different videos, but I'm giving kind of, a, in a way, a false statistic to them because of the 4,000 hour requirement. So if I subscribe to some of my new subscribers that have, you know, in the last couple of days, um, I've, I've looked at your channels, you had things on there that were interesting to me, um, and that's why I subscribed. So when you post a new video, I'm going to be more inclined to watch it, and that's going to drive not just your subscriber list, but also your watch time. Um, so that's why, I, you know, I just don't want people to get carried away with the subscriber for subscriber. Um, I know that some of the people that I watched the videos on that were um, kind of disappointed even on this change because they might have a thousand subscribers but they don't have the watch time. Um, and I think, you know, part of that reason could be very well because the subscribers that they have aren't really interested in the type of channel that they have so um, you know the live stream that I did the other day I said go out and look for videos I mean you know videos or creators who do um, who do channels that are similar to yours or things that you are interested in and watch one of the videos, make a, um, some sort of a comment. You can tell them that you subscribed. Because a lot of people will subscribe to you after you've said that, but you've already determined that you're at least interested in whatever it is. And like I said, I subscribe to a guy, he trains pigeons. Now, I like animals. I'm probably not gonna train a pigeon, but it's something that 
my little mind, it works that way. Um, I like birds, you know, so, I, you know, I'll maybe not every single video. If he does some kind of competition, I may or may not watch it, but I um, probably will watch at least some of his videos. Um, and I can give you another perspective on that, like, Tasty, everybody's heard of Tasty. Tasty's everywhere. And, of course, I subscribe to Tasty. But I don't watch every single one of their videos either. You know, so it's, I'm not insulting somebody by saying that, but there may be something that Tasty posts that I know I'm not going to eat. You know what I mean? Um, but I, it, it doesn't mean I wouldn't subscribe to them because most of the time I'm going to watch their videos. Um, so just to keep that in perspective. And the same thing goes for you. You don't want a 1,000 subscribers and nobody watching your videos. Um, so it goes both ways. Same thing with me. Uh, you know, I'm hoping that um, the people that I've connected with over the last 24 hours, my, and it was a good number. I mean, I don't think it wasn't a huge number. I think it was like um, around 20 people that I connected with. And almost every single one of those people, I, I actually had at least put a, a comment on one of their videos so they know I watched something. Um, you know, uh, so, and it's that's the point that I'm getting at is that we want to build the community um, our own little community so um, I wanted to um, give some shout outs to to some of my new friends and one of my older friends my YouTube friends um, well, she, this one's a new one happy trails hiking uh, she posted a video today and she had some really good ideas um, they Apparently, they've been promoting shop small, meaning um, when you go and buy products, go to the little stores, the mom and pop, mom and pop stores, and um, support your local businesses. Now, she said, or today, she said, shop small, watch small. And um, one of her suggestions was, you know, and this is what I say too, go look for the smaller channels. Um, and on her case, what she did, and I think this is a great idea, she makes her subscriptions public. And she invites you to go look at her subscriptions, so I'm going to invite you to go look at my subscriptions and find those smaller channels and connect with them. So go and watch some of their videos and make comments and um, introduce yourself. Let, let them know that you've sus subscribed, um, just like you would go out and actively search. Hi, Valerie. Don't worry about being late. I had some technical difficulties, so I'm late, too. Um, don't worry about it. Anyway, um, and for those of you who don't know, Valerie's my daughter, so I'm getting some support. <laughs> so she says, hi, Mimi. I don't know if you guys can see these things when they pop up. Um, if somebody would let me know in the chat, because I just see them. No tell, Mimi. What does that mean? Don't tell them who you are? It's okay. Um, anyway, <laughs> I don't know if everybody else can see the comments or not, or if that's only a super chat thing. I have no idea. Um, so if you could let me know that, um, then I'll learn something. Oh, you tried to get in earlier, but it kept pausing. Yeah, I was having a connection problem. Um, and as I'm going through this, I'm still talking because I don't know if anybody is listening or not, but I don't know if it was a YouTube thing or if it was my internet. I don't know what it was, but anyway, we seem to be past it now, so that's a good thing. And um, at this point, I was uh, giving some shout outs to some people that, you're awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, Almeta, I hope I said that right. Almeta family says they're listening and they're supporting, so that's great to know. Um, people are listening and they're trying to support each other and I think that's just wonderful you know there's been a lot of complaining and there's been a lot of uh, griping and I'm gonna leave YouTube and all that kind of thing and um, there's also been this really amazing pulling together of the community of people who and like myself I know I'm not gonna make my those goals that YouTube has set up by uh, February 20th. I know that's not going to happen. I just know it. I've looked at my numbers. I've been watching my analytics since I discovered that there was such a thing. And um, just realistically, it's not going to happen for me. But that's okay. Because this, making money isn't the only reason why I'm here. Yeah, it would be nice. But like I said, you can't, at least somebody like me, I couldn't survive off of it. 
but uh, you know, it, it does help me in other ways as far as Miss Jenny's cleaning business goes. And, and that's kind of how I want to look at this um, YouTube channel is as a business. So just like when I started my business, I started with zero customers and I started my YouTube channel with zero views and I have built it up from there. It's not quite a year, but almost a year. And um, listening to the expert people that I've learned things from, I know I still have a lot of work to do. So, you know, I know I have work to do. I imagine other people are having trouble. That's why I wanted to do this group. And hopefully Friday nights at 7 o'clock, maybe it's not a good time. I don't know. But it seems to, it just seemed like the right time for me for now. So we can always change that if, if you guys think that there might be a better time. Just give me the feedback. But... Anyway, I was talking about Happy Trails, and she um, makes her subscriber list public, and, she, you know, she's told us all about it now, so when I go back, when things kind of calm down a little bit, I'm going to go back and look and see what kind of um, things she subscribes to, and see if they have some, you know, people that they follow that have interests, like interests, same as me, and then, you know, things are just going to start snowballing. Um... Two other people that I wanted to give shout outs to. One is Vlogger. It's V L O G G R R R. I think it's two G's, but there's definitely three R's. Vlogger. She started yesterday in the evening and um, she did the hashtag apocalypse challenge. So she's challenging. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I'm glad I did it right. <laughs> uh, she's challenging people to do a video a day for 30 days. And um, I met her in one of the live streams. I think it, uh, I want to say it was McNimmon's live stream when he was making the announcement about these changes. So anyway, she started the Apocalypse Channel. And I, I, I just loved the way her video was. It was very positive, very motivational. Um, you know, she has a kind of go get them kind of style, and I'm going to go back and watch some of her vlogs and just see what all she's going, you know, what she has to contribute. But I, I like her attitude, and I think she's positive, and I'm going to watch the challenge and see what kind of things she's posting throughout the next 30 days. <coughs> Excuse me. Another person that I wanted to do the shout out to was Crispy TV, and it's just spelled like that Crispy and then TV. Um, he picked up on the challenge and also posted a, an apocalypse challenge. It's hashtag apo apocalypse challenge. And the cool thing about him, he did exactly what I was thinking about doing tonight. And that is that he gave the credit to Vlogger. And he also, I found, very motivational. Um, he has probably, of the people that I, I wanted to go and, and introduce myself to, um, he has the most subscribers. Um, he has over over a thousand subscribers but he was contributing in the live chat he wasn't complaining everything he said was positive and motivational and so I watched his apocalypse challenge video as well and he said something in there that I'm gonna do I'm gonna do it because if you look behind me my walls are bare and I don't really have too many decorations up but um, on this wall that you can hardly see too much the skinny side there I am going to put up a motivational board. He uses motivational board as his background to his video. And um, his goal is 100,000 subscribers. So he's got big lofty goals and he was pointing to some other goals that he has. And there were some things um, that were too small to really see in the video, but that's okay. He's got a plan, you know, and he's got a vision and he put it out there so that he can see it every single day. And that's a great idea. Um, so I'm going to steal that one. And then... Um, a Coat's Life lady's name is Amy. I watch her a lot. She's been somebody that I've been following for a while. And I told her today that I was going to give her a shout out because she also is responding very positively to these changes. And I want to show you what she has. She has a form. This is the form. It's the content, um, what is it? Content idea sheet. Organizational. And you see I printed it out and I'm using it. And I think this is, actually I printed several of them. So, um, if you go to hers, it's, it's a, a space coats, C-O-A-T-E-S, life, 
and um, her channel is she homeschools um, they're minimalist I think she lives I think she lives in Canada I know she took a trip to Canada um, this summer and I watched some of the things that she did with her kids there she has a lot of um, vlogs that she does I watched them make Christmas decorations and some cool things you know she's smart lady and she has some good ideas and then she has a very nice lifestyle so I just I watch her as well and when you go to watch this particular video it's content organization free printout is how she's got it titled if you look down in her description box she has a link to her blog and she goes through the video and she shows she keeps a journal that has a calendar in it and she shows you how she has that set up and you click the link and it takes you over to her blog and then you can just print these out and I think these are awesome so I'm using them so this is my shout out for the new people or the small people not necessarily new but the smaller channels that um, I've met recently and and Amy from a coat's life that I've been watching for a while um, and uh, the the other thing that I wanted to um, at least touch on today was um, some of the conversations that I've had with other people who don't know no they don't know that I they don't have ideas um, they stutter like me when they're speaking you know pu that's bad public speaking but whatever this is live and I don't really want this to be formal formal anyway I want people to feel comfortable here so you get my flaws too like I'm in my bed again my office bed bed office <laughs> um, but I did want to mention for people who are really floundering and they don't know really what to do um, and they need more structured help or more specific help things that we can't just cover in a small session um, these are people that I watch pretty regularly. Obviously, Nick Nimmons, I think I've mentioned him. He's really good, and he's kind of down to earth. And his videos usually aren't too long. But um, Saturday mornings at 9 o'clock Eastern Time, he has a live show. Wealth of information. Um, Brian G. Johnson TV. You can type in Brian G. Johnson, um, and it'll still bring him up. He's got a lot of information, too. His is usually pretty technical stuff a lot of it goes over my head I'm <coughs> sorry again um, but I always glean something out of what he has to offer um, sometimes I go back and I have to watch him again uh, because his stuff really is high-level technical stuff that I don't completely understand but he's got good information um, Roberto Blake is another one I watch a lot of his stuff um, he has uh, he has a live stream too. I don't know the time on his. Um, he, he's a very smart person too. Well, all these people are smart, but um, he's uh, his way of going about things. He he's he's not negative, but he's no nonsense. So he tells it the way he sees it. So you know, um, I think he's very positive. He's very um, his thing is about creating. And not just YouTube creations, but all kinds of creations. He, hi Chuck B. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Um, but yes, he's got a lot of information too, not just on YouTube and the things that are going on there, but also on business ideas and ways to make other types of money. Um, so he does a lot of shows. Some of his videos are long, um, and some of them are short. It's just and sometimes he seems to come up kind of random on my subscriber list but he's on a lot and he's a good one to watch and he's a good one to listen to because he knows what he's talking about um, video influencer video influencers for some reason I can't say that properly video influencers they're another one um, that I watch a lot they they cover a lot of different topics on um, how to a lot of, set up your cameras and different ways to vlog they had one one time where they were talking about going out and vlogging in public I haven't gotten brave like that yet I sit in my yard and talk and um, the lady that owns the house that I live in she has a business in the house so sometimes her customers might think I'm crazy I don't know but I'm getting a little braver about that I haven't gone to a park or a mall or anything like that or into a store you know some of the the um, other people that I watch they go into stores and they're videotaping while they're in the store and they're talking uh, 
I don't have the nerve for that yet. Yeah, you still have problems out in public too. I know, right? Like, I remember uh, when Bluetooth first came out and I would see people in the grocery store and they looked like crazy people because when I was a kid growing up, there were actual crazy people that would walk around the town. There were a couple of them, you know, you knew who they were. Um, but they would walk around town talking to themselves and you knew that they had mental problems. Okay, you just knew it. But then you go in the grocery store and somebody seems to be having a real conversation and there's nobody there, but it was that Bluetooth thing. So, I don't know, you know, I, I think that's where my little inhibition comes from. I don't want people thinking I'm nuts, although I might be. But um, video influencers <laughs> out in a park is a good way to start. Yeah, and maybe I'll go when the kids are in school so there won't be so many people. That's a, that's a thought. I'll do that. Um, Maybe I'll let you know when I do it <laughs> out in the park. Uh, but anyway, yeah, video influencers, there is a good, they're a good one. And Think Media, they're also very good at giving a lot of different types of tips um, for creating videos and structuring your videos, how to set up your script. And I'm really coming to the conclusion for a lot of reasons that I need to really be a little bit more structured in my scripting. And one of the reasons why Tim Schmoyer did a video on this earlier today it has to do with captioning. It's funny how things work. So captioning, not just for people who are, you like Think Media? I like Think Media too, yeah. You think there's, it's underrated? Susan Turchy, hey! Oh wow, thank you. Susan Turchy goes way back. She knew me when I was nine years old. So, <laughs> hey, thanks for coming. Um, uh, so, anyway, yeah, so with the, the subtitles, the reason why, not just because of, you know, people who are hearing impaired, but also, this is a good point, and my son was watching one of my videos today and even said something about it, so it's, it's a real thing, but a lot of people are looking at their phones and they have the videos muted, so they're not disturbing other people or they're not getting caught at work or whatever it is, but um, putting those captions on the video, they can still get the content without actually hearing the message. And then Tim had made a point that um, people sometimes can follow whatever message it is that you're trying to get across with when they're reading and following along with the script. So this is something that I'm gonna work, in, work on and um, Oh, you did? You checked out the website that Tim was referring to today? Is this, it costs something, though, doesn't it? Isn't there a fee with that? That was Chuck B. He said that. Um, I thought he said something about a fee. Uh, anyway, you know, he seems to... It's a dollar a minute. That's good to know. A dollar a minute. Okay. I'll have to log that one into my file system here. A dollar a minute. Okay. <clears throat> Good to know. Thank you so much, Chuck. Um, and then there's another person that I watch, Amy Landino. They have other plans as well. Okay. I'm going to look into that. I'm going to look into it. I'll go back and watch his video again and get that website. I just haven't had time. I've been so busy today. Yesterday kind of threw me for a loop. I didn't even sleep well last night. I was thinking about these things. Um, so anyway, um, another lady that I watch a lot is Amy Landino. It's Amy, A-M-Y, and Landino, L-A-N-D-I-N-O. She has um, lots of information on promoting yourself on social media, but also um, a lot of business things, a lot of like, mm, has, like organizing your life type information. She's pretty good. I watch her periodically too. Um, she's got some good information. And there's other ones. Um, I have a playlist of YouTube help videos that I just keep them in my playlist in case I think of something I want to go back and look at it. So you're welcome to come and look at my playlist. Uh, right? Yeah, you're sleepy today too. I know, right? <coughs> Omida family was saying the same thing too, that this is kind of bugged her. She was having trouble sleeping too. Um, so... It's funny though, I was, it's a kind of a good thing I was a little charged up, but uh, not really stressed, you know, so. Um, but I need to rest tonight, because I'm tired, and I'm getting sores. So if you notice me, I'm fidgeting, fidgeting a little bit. Um, 
I'm, I'm kind of sore I didn't work because it snowed in Georgia and Georgia doesn't handle snow very well <laughs> the whole place was shut down yesterday that's how I ended up uh, watching these videos and then today I didn't have anything scheduled as far as work but we had appointments from this accident that is dominating our life right now um, so we had some follow-up appointments and didn't make it to those because the office opened late blah blah so anyway I did do some stuff around here that has been getting out of hand and working on this live um, this live stream tonight and so here we are that's about where I'm at today as far as an introduction uh, if you have things that you want to talk about I'm gonna be looking really of ways how much snow we got two inches of snow which isn't a lot that's from Valerie who lives in Maryland where I'm from and in Maryland it's not unusual to get six eight ten twelve and sometimes three feet of snow if we get a blizzard but in Georgia snow is unusual so when it snows here they don't know what to do I think this Ray was telling me the state has ten uh, plows for the entire state and Georgia's a lot bigger than Maryland a lot and apparently they do pre-treat the roads down here they have the means to do that but they don't have a way of clearing the streets like uh, lately it has been um, they don't have a way pardon me they don't have a way of clearing the snow like they do in the northern states that are used to getting it so even with the dusting <laughs> Walmart is packed if snow's coming and then after the snow or once it starts most of the people stay off the roads and they don't know how to drive in the snow down here so there were a lot of accidents yesterday <laughs> a lot but not me I stayed home <laughs> so um, it's been six degrees colder where you are than here in Frederick yeah that's another thing so I'm getting feedback from people that live in Maryland um, yeah it's colder here for whatever weird reason it is than it is back home I don't understand that some strange thing and last year we had a week of winter a week this time last year it was 75 degrees I want my 75 degrees back I'm not liking this so, um, I want to kind of open the floor up to you guys. Um, do you have any, any kind of questions or anything that uh, you discovered? Um, uh, we did get some feedback that for the captioning costs an hour, so a lot of us are watching the same videos, and that's cool. Um, but I, you know, I don't know what else you want to talk about. I'm, you know, personally, I know I need to focus on my view time. So here, I'll give you an idea. My videos are not sure if you covered him, but Owen Video, Owen Video puts out good stuff. I don't know if I've seen that. I want to write that down. Owen Video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look him up. Owen Video. I might have seen some of it. Um. I'm going to check him out and see. Owen oh, video. Thanks, Chuck. Um, so we'll see what he has to say. Owen oh, video. Somebody new. Um, anyway, yeah, you can, of course, put it in the chat so if you're here. But if you're watching the video after the live stream, um, in the comments, go ahead and put questions or comments. Um, I'm really asking for positive only. I really don't want this to become a gripe fest. Uh, I don't think that being negative is going to do anybody any good. And um, one of the things I was thinking about today was how many people I heard say, it doesn't really affect me. I don't care. I do it for fun. You can't speak in public and struggle on saying some things. You know, you just you keep practicing. Um, I was thinking about that too. You know, like when I was a kid, um, had to do um, arts and 
we did these panel things when I got into high school and they you were forced it was part of your grade to get up in front of the class and talk and people were terrified and um, I struggle with it a little bit but thankfully I did a lot of speaking when I was a kid so I've learned some things over the year over the years um, but uh, I just still get nervous I mean I had a little bit of an anxiety attack here before I started and I just kind of chilled out for a minute and then in my I couldn't connect so whatever <laughs> but um, a lot of the kids and I mean young kids like 10 11 12 13 years old when those inhibitions start coming out are making these crazy videos and they don't look inhibited to me at all you know and they're having fun and they're saying things and then some some of my people that I subscribe to are actually young too um, it's my second live stream I did a live stream yesterday, a spontaneous one. This one at least I planned for. Yesterday I did one um, very spontaneous because I was so keyed up after I heard everything and had gotten some feedback from some other people. But um, what I was saying about the young kids, it seems like with this media of being able to project images all over the world, they're not as scared to speak in public. So, um, you know, it is something that's real uh, and, you know, when you're learning how to do something, you, you know, you struggle for words, you feel stupid, you know, one of the, <laughs> one of the things that I saw when my computer went out, I'm standing there like, <laughs> I look dumb, I'm like, oh, I don't want that picture on my live stream, I don't want people to see it inside of my mouth, you know, just stuff like that, but, um, you know, there's a lot of videos on that, how to speak in public. Uh, it's a lot easier, honestly, to speak to the camera than it is to a crowd. Um, if there was, you know, 10 or 20 people here, I might be a little bit more nervous. Uh, I think the biggest crowd that I've ever spoken to was about 100 people. So I've, I've had practice. Um, and that, that, that helps. Uh, but, you know you kind of have to do it if you want to make videos you got to talk to somebody um the the good thing about it is you know if you're recording something and uh you do do a goof you can either leave it in there and let it be part of the icebreaker and make things a little more interesting or you can cut it and splice it back on top of it or you can delete it and re-record it if you don't have the equipment or the apps or whatever to edit but i don't know just get brave uh, you know I don't really I'm not that worried about um, how clear I am when I'm talking on this because I, I want it to be real I don't want this to be one of those professional videos where people f look at me and they, oh you know I really don't I don't want that I want people to be comfortable here so every time something pops up on my screen and I can see a comment you know that encourages me at least you're listening to me and um, you know you're giving me feedback and uh, I just I'm not really that concerned in this particular form I don't want it to be so rigid I don't want it to be rigid it's it's hard enough with all the other things that have happened here um, to get over that hump I mean I, you know like I was actually do, breaking down numbers today I have to multiply by five times what I've been doing in order to meet the standard that YouTube has set out for me. That's a lot. I've got a lot of work to do. That's why I know I'm not going to do it in 30 days. There's no way. Unless the Spirit of the Lord anoints me with the YouTube gift and a miracle happens on this channel in 30 days, I don't really expect it to happen. Okay? And I'm okay with that because, um, you know, we said it's a business and in a way I'm kind of looking at myself as an apprentice and I, I have sort of done an apprenticeship before um, I got paid minimum wage and I learned from uh, a lady in the hairdressing field some specialized stuff and you know I was fortunate I got an education hands-on with an excellent woman in a field in a, in a top-level salon way back in the day um, Right, just stay positive, keep on trucking. In my apprenticeship, that's what I learned. So, you know, I had people watching over me and giving me pats on the back, and they also said, you know what, you didn't do this right. You, this is what you need to do. And that's where that's what this place needs to be. It needs to be a place 
where yes we can pat each other on the back but we can also say look you need to try this or this is what works for me um, that's how we're gonna learn and that's why I welcome the experts because they know but I also know that I have things to offer and you guys have things to offer we've all got at least a couple videos out there um, some of you may have better watch time than I do that's that's my weakness right there I already know that um, and that's what I got to work on and you know any feedback that you can give me that would be great if you want to watch a video of mine <coughs> excuse me and you know it gets to a point where you're like this is getting boring let me know I would appreciate that that would be um, welcome feedback I, I did get a negative comment on one of my videos and um, uh, I guess you could call it a negative comment it was one of the first videos that I posted that actually has a pretty good view rate compared to my other ones and it's my feather dusting video and <clears throat> sorry the person made a comment that I hope you're not getting paid by the hour because I'm going through it slowly and um, yeah if this was a real job where I was out dusting somebody's house I would be there all day long and I wouldn't make any money because I don't charge for the hour if you want to know the truth I charge by the job so I want to get in there get it done right and get out so I can move on to the next job or I can go home or do whatever else I want to do I don't want to spend all day in a house unless it's huge and then they're gonna pay for it um, but just to dust um, and so I responded back yes in this particular video I did go slowly I did it slowly so that people could see what I was doing you know because of the way that well, I don't want to give you a dusting tutorial right now, but basically the gist of it, the message was you don't fling your duster around because then you're throwing dust all over the house. There's a way to use a duster that's effective. That was the point of the video. That person didn't get it, but if you're watching, say, like, um, another video, whatever, one that, uh, I'm trying to think which one. Okay, so, like, <laughs> my sheet folding video. Not that you have to watch that one, but that one hasn't gotten a lot of uh, attention. And so if you watch it and you're like, huh, oh, well, it's just boring. Dust first or vacuum first, you dust first. Actually, you start at the top and work your way down. So you're going to do cobweb. Here we are cleaning when I'm talking about YouTube videos. Okay, so yeah, you start with cobwebs and then you come down. So if you have shelves that are up high, those are the next things that you dust and you work down. And I usually work around the room. So, you know, it doesn't matter left or right, but you always go around the room, top to bottom. So that all the dust falls down to the floor. And um, I, I do the entire floor in the entire house or the entire level of the house. So top floor, downstairs or basement or whatever. I, I do the, all the work that needs to be done and then I go back and do the entire floor. You just subbed to my channel. Oh, thank you. Sorry it was real quick. You were still in the background. Oh, okay. I, you know, it doesn't matter. I'm glad you're back and I'm glad you subbed. Um, just trying to get... Yeah, sometimes the negative comments are just trying to get under the skin. There's people who like to incite chaos and anger and, and that kind of thing. And sometimes like in the particular case of this person that I mentioned before I think it was just not understanding what the purpose of the video is when I replied back that I didn't they didn't say anything back to me and I was you know professional about it um, if quite honestly um, if somebody posted something on my video you know in my comments um, that was not nice either to me and I mean deliberately not nice, like talking about my race or anybody others else's race or, you know, things that aren't appropriate, that just aren't right, bullying, those comments get deleted. And I report it. I'm sorry, I do report it. And um, I'm glad this came up because I think, honestly, I've been thinking about um, why YouTube is doing this and everybody's got a theory on it and uh, Logan, what's his face and what he did. And I saw something today. I saw something else today it had to do with um, what do they call it um, ransomware that some of the advertisers by Valerie um, are, are were attacked by ransomware and that had something to do with I didn't understand all that anyway um, but 
there's probably, I'm thinking, a whole lot of reasons why YouTube is doing things the way that they're doing. Um, trying to be a grown-up and think business and knowing where I am on the YouTube totem pole is way down here. Um, and going back to my experience working for corporate America, there's probably a lot of stuff up here that YouTube isn't telling us. And I don't mean that in a secretive conspiracy kind of way. I'm just saying it's none of our business. So, yes, we know it has to do with advertisers um, and them not wanting to be associated with things that could be demeaning to their brand. I get it. I wouldn't want Miss Jenny's cleaning service to be on a video that talks about, you know, molesting little kids or, you know, degrading women. That's not cool. That's not cool. Okay? Um, so, that straightforward makes a lot of sense to me. But then there's other things like financial things that um, we may not know about. Uh, hypothetically, I'm not saying this happens, so please don't repeat me. I'm just saying it could happen that way that these advertisers are now holding YouTube, the corporation or the business, overall business, to a higher standard and um, maybe pushing the, you know, pushing them to. Uh, you know all kinds of different things so saying that um, they want a certain caliber of creators before they will they will put their ads out that makes sense to me I mean okay um, I don't want to name a channel but you guys know the types of channels that have just silliness on it um, th there's no real point to it. It's just silliness. And, uh, they, they put, and, and not comedy, okay? So, like, I will name, um, what's her name? Potty Mouth Grandma. She's serious. That She's a character, actually, of a lady who is an actress. And she does have a potty mouth. Um, so she may be somebody that a brand may not want to be associated with, but she's not the type of person that I'm talking about because she's doing little skits and she's, she's funny, okay? And she's doing it in a professional capacity. So I'm, I'm not talking about people like her. I'm talking about people who just randomly post stuff that makes no sense, and it's all just a jumble of things. Um, and they get a following because, I don't know, people follow stuff sometimes but um you know maybe uh Procter and Gamble doesn't want to be associated with weirdos who are eating pod uh you know tie I don't even know if Procter and Gamble makes tide but do you want your your tide pod ad on on a video where somebody's burning the inside of their mouth that makes sense right no sorry so yeah the advertisers probably are putting the screws to YouTube and I don't blame them I really don't and uh, I mean that's just the simple logic of it you know to me but the other thing I was thinking about was having a, what they call emotional intelligence so this is a situation something just popped I gotta get it off of there sorry okay um, this is a situation I don't have control over I can't change YouTube's policy any more than you can and, you know, if I want to continue to make videos on here and I want it to eventually make some kind of money on it, okay, then I have to abide by their, their standard. That's, that's the fact of it. They don't have to, they don't owe me anything. You know, they've allowed me to post videos on here for free. Um, by the way, uh, does anybody know, I might have read this wrong, are they taking away the end screens when they take the uh, partnership prop? Uh, the YouTube partnership away because I, I probably will lose that too on the 20th does anybody know that um, jumping off at 7 thanks again have a good night thank you for coming in that's fine I appreciate it thank you so much um, there should always be standards and accountability yes indeed Susan I agree with that and and I think that you know they're trying to become a little bit more professional they're still allowing people to do this silly stuff um, they, I, they are, um, cracking down on the bullying and the inappropriate things. And I think that's, that's good. I mean, you know, people don't need to see certain things, not on, on every platform. So, um, 
I lost my train of thought again. Oh, emotional intelligence. I have no control over this. And so I could sit here and complain like some other people are doing, or I can say, what am I going to do? So I started this group, and I found a strategic way that's going to work for me to get more subscribers. It may be slower, um, but I explained my rationale for that. And uh, will I do the 30-day challenge? Probably not, just because my schedule is so full and I have bills to pay, so I don't count on YouTube, obviously, because I'm not making any money off of it. But I do have other things I have to do. Oh, here's a strategy for you. And I actually did this this week before all this happened just because I had a good day earlier in the week but um you know if you have a free day and you need to make these videos you can make several videos in one day there's other people who have suggested this as well make several videos and you can schedule when they're going to be released so that's a really good idea okay bye Chuck you know what I gotta go to um, thank you so much for coming. Enjoy your dinner and stay positive. I'll be back in a week with one of these, okay? Uh, anybody else who's coming on late or um, watches the video after the um, end of the video, if you have comments or questions, again, put them down in the comment section below. If you like what I'm saying, go ahead and subscribe. I want to do this about once a week. Um, and let me know if Fridays are good. If not, you know, I guess you can watch it whenever you want. And, uh... Stay positive. If you make the challenge, God, I would love to know that. So 